My current research looks at dance as an ephemeral and intangible art form. In the past few years, I have begun a conversation with a couple successful contemporary dance companies and choreographers that began experimenting with new ways of presenting choreography and movement, utilizing digital media as a form of documentation, an experimental method, and as a means of embodying dance. My research with these dancers, choreographers, and studios was designed to investigate the effects of digitization on tacit, collaborative, and embodied knowledge of contemporary dance. We were primarily interested in a few questions. How dance moves are transmitted? Who owns them? And what impact has dance technology had on practices that are shared but now disseminated to people outside of the dance community. No doubt computational media has transformed both the way we think about dance as an embodied knowledge, as well as the way we experience it bodily. But computational media, which not only records and archives, but also calculates, analyzes, and models dance, further complicates its ontological status. Like dance, these digitally processed sounds and images do not easily lend themselves to fixing in a stable medium. The use of audiovisual and computational media complicates dance, but dance also troubles how we have come to understand concepts like immersion, embodiment, hapticity, interactivity, and real time when we talk about new platforms. Immersion in the sense of embodiment are epiphenomenal, that cannot be reduced to calculation, retrieval, or information. And I want to draw a distinction between dance as what Andre Lepecki describes as a complex integration of sense, memories, associations, and displacements, and kinetic memories, and what Kiri Miller calls the playable body. Miller argues online dance games invite players to imagine how it might feel to dance in someone else's body. The shift towards integrating digital technologies like motion capture into dance practice has produced two parallel impulses. One inclination is to see dance as the product of multiple calculations, of repeatable steps and gestures and bodily movements that can be accurately executed or played or made playable. The other impulse treats digital technologies as a means of documentation and a practice of augmenting dance. Within this second framework, technology is used as a stimulus to generate new forms of engagement and an extension of dance into some speculative future. It is in contrast to these two impulses that I read Matthias Sperling's 2017 solo work, Loop Atlas, that is playing behind me, and Siobhan Davis's and Henri Salas 2009 collaborative work, Solo in the Doldrums, since as I see it, they challenge both impulses by troubling the manner in which digital technologies attempt to capture and convey a sense of embodiment as fixed and controllable. At the same time, they challenge how computational media fixates on figures and gestures that can be traced, mapped, and calibrated. But more than that, these works demonstrate how dancing in the digital domain troubles conventional notions of embodiment and its relationship to both presence and absence. They do so by foregrounding the mediation between forms of individuation, that is, a mediation between the vital or the collective exchanges that are shaped in the studio through small adjustments incremental growth and daily discipline practice, much like the looping gesture you see performed behind me, and the assemblage of advanced control and communication technologies that shape our social and economic infrastructures. <clears throat> At the same time, these works question how we understand interactivity and embodiment of time-based media. They offer us a different mode of play within the digital domain, one that does not reify the figure of the dancer, rather it challenges those bodily regimes that strive for some model, the figure, the index of bodily accuracy, whether it be within the dance community 
within the community of online dancers.